Oh, you filming me? I'm filming you. <laughs> Just a couple cameras out Just here. Just a couple cameras doing a couple things. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. It's like that. Do you see how smooth this is? Yeah, man. On the parallel side? Oh, yeah. This car's nice. Since I was doing for it. Thank you. 14 years old. Nigga, go around. You see I'm parking? today because my, my polo boots is a little bit tight if you wear them joints all day the duck boots while they mad fresh they can be a little bit uncomfortable for those with the wide feet you know what i mean so we stopped here at ricks checking out some sneakers i'm looking at these joints right here quite possibly i'm definitely gonna cop one of these while i'm here gotta get that freshness Ooh. Ooh. Buff City, you already know what it is. Over here at Rick's, getting the fly gear real quick. Rick got some stories about the Buffalo Kids, Griselda, Benny, Conway, West Side Gun, shopping in this actual store. So Rick, let me ask you, when was the last time you saw one of the Griselda guys up in here? Oh, it's been a while. When they came in here, we knew their faces, we knew who they, you know, who they were for the most part, but they got big. They, they're doing it right now. They're, they're, they're running this town. They got people coming in from all over the country coming to see them. And they all, all the people that come in, come in to Rick's, say what's up. They're telling us they're going to do an interview or, you know, go do music with them or do something. Yeah. With the establishment. It's big now, right? Yeah, and before Griselda blew up, the last thing that happened out of Buffalo was Rick James. Oh, yeah, that's been a long time ago. Did you know Rick? <laughs> Didn't know Rick James personally, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never got a chance to meet him. Never got a chance to meet him. Uh, when I do get a chance to see him, I let him know you have great things to say about him. Oh, definitely, man. And I'm sure he's, he's going to have fond memories about this spot. But, uh, Rick, thank you for allowing us into your beautiful store. You see, we got the goods right here on deck. You know what I mean? It might not be our last time in here. We got to go get some grub. If I do need some gear from my people back home, trust me, I got you. Alright, we're filming right now, so. Alright, yeah, whatever. We're gonna be filming all day. Alright, we're filming then. So we, that's where we, um. Yeah, Duff's is the spot. You want good wings, good burgers, good anything. I'm gonna get the address and I'm gonna GPS it so you ain't gotta worry about that. Alright, that's you. Filming. Yeah, that's you. Alright. Intro King is in the building. What you thought it was? I gotta eat. We're here at Duff's. We on the ground. We off the side of the street. Fucking yard. You already know what it is. Let's go eat, though. So, I've been eating wings all my life. I guess I didn't do it right until I come to Buffalo. Uh -huh. My man Crook K said, hit up Duff's. We did the drive. We, we got in the spaceship and we landed. Get right into it. First of all, thank you for having me into your home Appreciate and your you, studio, bro. bro. It's, it's been a long time coming. Absolutely. You know, I've been following your music for a minute. I want to say like over a year. What was the song I played? Burning Bridges. Yes, sir. People really liked it a lot. Yes. Since then, you've had 
quite a, a number of singles that have been impactful, which right. kind of go to the soul of what you feel, how you think, and what you want to convey to the people. Um, first of all, we're here in your, your home studio right now. We was in, a, we was in another room. Right. Um, you got your own press for the merch. Yes, sir. So I do all my, my merch. Yeah, so I, I do all my merch, the YNX716 merch. I mean, you can find it www.ynx716.com. I got hats as well, um, masks. So, I mean, I pretty much do everything in house. I mean, it's got to do what I got to do. Yeah, it's just like, it's what they call getting it from the mud. And yes, Buffalo sir. seems to have that just type of spirit right. kind of built into them. Um, exactly. As a Buffalo native, how long have you been actually outputting music? Man. I want to say, ser like seriously, as far as streaming platforms, I've only been doing it about three years as far as on my own, as far as handling the business, streaming, Spotify, you know what I mean, Apple Music and things of that nature. But prior to that, I've been doing music in general for over 15 years now. I mean, I started as a young, I mean, a teenager rapping. You know, I used to rap to vent you know, when I was going through stuff growing up. And, uh, you still doing that, right? Right, right. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just can deliver it better. Before, I used to be struggle, 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 yeah. like living, you know what I mean, pain, pain, pain. But now I got a way to articulate it a little bit better, to where it's not so depressing. You know what I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm really, you know, I, I'm able to word my stuff differently just because I kept sharpening my pen. You know what I mean? Well, you just said a lot of things that touched me, and I know yes, that pause, but we, um. We know we played it on the show, and right. I go through emotions on my show. Right. I let the song do what it's going to do to right. me. And I know you had either one or two songs that probably on my show I probably showed some emotion to. So right. I feel like you still at that point. You're Definitely. still doing the same thing where you're venting, you're Definitely. letting it off. Definitely. That's therapeutic for you, Definitely. I think. Definitely, yes. I mean, it's, it's, it really is. I mean, a lot of stuff, like me, I'm, I'm, I will, I mean, like you said, I, I'm, I don't talk too loud and mm -hmm. that's, that's just how I'm a, I'm a preservative person uh -huh. so I mean I'm not the one that's, that's gonna be loud like I, I observe and I listen yeah you know what I mean so everybody used to say yo you, you quiet why you so quiet because you know I, mean? I was I always I'm always yeah. thinking about shit you yeah. know what I mean and I I talk the most when I rap yeah you know what I mean but other than that I'm just a, a very, very soft-spoken person I'm to myself you know what I mean and I you know I, I, I pretty much release all my emotions and I can vent through music that I'm putting out to the people and hopefully it can help somebody else get through something too. So, but let's talk about real quick before we get out of here, sure. um, the do-it-yourself attitude you got. You got your own studio, over. you got the booth over here, right. you doing your own editing here, you yes, recording, sir. you doing videos in, a, in another room, right. you got your own merch set up, right. you're a one-stop shop. The thing is you keep on working. Exactly. And if you do what your work is, then exactly. whatever's supposed to happen is gonna happen. And that's it, man, and just that, like I was, you know, with the quarantine and everything, I was I was mentally having, you know, issues with it. Like, damn, man, like, I feel like I did all I can do. What else can I do at this point? You know what I mean? And then, like I said, the universe. Like, I, when I, like what I tell myself all the time is, you know, the proposition boy, Mike Powers, intro king. You already know we doing this thing in Buffalo. For y'all to say, I'm just fucking with the front runners. Look what we did. The real ones. YNX716, we about to do this. We not done yet. I'm honored. Thank you for having me. I need to realize that. Thank you, sir. Right. Lessons, blessings. Like my man, Richard. Right now, working. Where the booth? Right there. Can I open that thing a beat? Yeah, go ahead. Rich, they come in here real quick. I'm gonna check you out. Alright, let's double it. Like I'll, I work 24 hours. Yeah. yeah, I was 18. 18. Like 50, 54 now. One, bring it back one more time. <laughs> one more time, Rich. <laughs> I, I, when you, after you run through the um, the main parts of the hook, do the uh, double the more life parts. Okay, yeah, just jump in there. Yeah, nah, I just, I've been doing this shit for a long time. And you said you also you DJ as well. Um, uh, yeah. Like tour DJ shit, show DJ okay. shit, like weddings and shit well, like that. When this thing opens back up again, you know, for our family, Lord, they're gonna be out. You're gonna probably be part of that. I don't see why that's. Yeah, I don't need it. I'm just working. It really makes sense. One more time, player. El Biz, for our family. Hey, thank you for having me in your home, bro. Oh, man. Blessings, blessings. Peace and blessings to you. Always welcome to the ISB Music Lab, man. Thank you for coming out.
Late night, we still pulling up. It don't stop. You already see. Deserve. Uh -huh. Welcome to fucking Buffalo, baby. I'm on the ground. I'm in the trenches. Like I said, where the sausage is made. Mad face Mossberg. Now we in the building. Uh, Sir. What's up, Alice? Thank you for so coming, on. man. Thank you for having me, bro. Absolutely. This is the lab. Yes, sir. This is where all the magic is made. Yes, sir. So me and you had a moment. Yes, sir. In that moment, <laughs> I played your song. And y'all know I don't like to do this, but I say if you're ready for it, do that. He's one of these guys, I said, yo, I, I never heard it before, but we let the people see what it do. You know what I mean? I listened to like the first verse the night before I played the whole thing the next day. I hadn't heard the whole song. This moment that we're currently talking about is that moment where at the end of the song, I said this. He says, sniff. <laughs> for no apparent reason. And it took me by surprise. And then the very last thing he says on there is shut the fuck up. It's so appropriate <laughs> for a guy like me, because I love to talk. Um, and what was that, a week and a half ago? And now we here. Yeah. Just that quick. Talk to me about the song. I forget the name of the joint. What's the name of the joint? Dry Paint. Dry Paint. It's off uh, Mossberg Chronicles, which is my first EP. Did a little EP just to get my fucking sound out there. My man... Uh, my man Maltov put me on with the studio and, and started recording my song, fucking, you know, helping me fucking mold my craft. How long you been at this? I've been rapping my whole life, man. It's just in the studio a year. Okay, now listen, I, I could I could have this wrong, but I, I quoted this on my show, and I thought you said in the first four bars that you would skin somebody alive and eviscerate the carcass. Did I get the lyrics right? I said, I said, uh, Lottie Dottie. Fish scale in the party, skin your ass alive and eviscerate the body. Dank rolls up a level, take two of the lobby. Go on the fucking bitch and wipe my neck on for side sheet. That's what we're doing right now. Yes. <laughs> and I said, when I heard that, I said, I don't, I never want to make the mistake of uh, maybe disrespecting a man who in the first four bars would say something like skinning a human being alive. That's a very serious bar to lead off nah, with. Um, and so, and so, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So we touched down, we, and I said, I said, this guy is scary. I said he's scary. And uh, you know, that's fact. So the song Dry Paint, which I played on my show and the people went crazy for it. Um, Molotov Maul is his name? Yes, sir. Talk to me about that collaboration. Man, Maul's a monster. I just know that fucking boy's a beast. So when I started recording here, I just started listening to all their music. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I started checking them out as artists. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we do have different styles. Maul really fucking ride any fucking beat you give him. So, you know, but, uh, you know, we are just on different genres at the time. Mm -hmm. I was making more of a grimy rap. But I just knew he's a fucking beast. It threw him on that grimy fucking beat, man, dude. But he's been doing, Maltop Mall's been rapping in Buffalo for fucking what? 15 years? For the better part of 15, for sure. My man, better part my of man was putting on the Perry Project. Yeah, man, it's been a long, long time with this shit. 2010. Man. My man was putting on for real. So if anybody uh, deserves a pat on the back, it's him. Let me ask you this Does Buffalo have a sound? That the Buffalo knew, know who Buffalo is. Fuck, man. I'd like to think we do. A lot of us, you know, are into that grimy rap, like me. Like, that's how I like. I like slow, grimy I fucking say, beats. I say the sound and have it yet to be discovered. It's like one of them things that when it's happening, you can't really pinpoint it. Right. But once it's done, once this era is done, and like, like, big ups to Griselda and shit. Like, you feel yeah. me? Because they set the tone. Like, I look at Griselda like, like, that's. The big brother, the big cousin and shit. Well, you know you got a, a a cousin who a G. You ain't really got to do that shit. You feel me? So our lane be different. Like we talk, we hitting. You get what I'm saying? We hitting a lot of different types of music. Mad faces on that grimy shit, which is I love that shit. You feel me? But that's we got singers, we got yes. fucking kid rappers, we got we got youth, we little got little all little types of shit coming through the studio. Like the the sound of Buffalo. When I say you like, I'm a fan of like eighty five. I'm gonna say like 90% of the people who come through here. It's like, and a lot of people come through here. So like, I don't think people know about the sound of Buffalo yet, cause it's still yet to be discovered. But like, bro, I'm telling you, all these 
artists, not, like he said, I'm telling you, 90 percent of them are fucking rocking their lane, like nobody's fucking business. It's just bad to the bone. What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers? <laughs> <laughs>